West Fargo School District is moving closer to bringing students back to the classroom full time. It's been the goal since the start of the pandemic. Valley News Team's Courtney Locke explains what needs to happen for local districts to reverse the decision. A lot of parents like Jesse Foss are itching to get the kids back to school full time. Bismarck Public Schools on Thursday became the first large district in the state to reverse its course, bringing grades K through five back inside full time. The disadvantages of our kids not being in school outweigh the advantages. And schools understand, but the desire isn't the driving force behind the decision. I don't envy the people who have to make that decision. Valley News Live has learned that West Fargo is considering making the move to full time face to face learning, though they didn't specify for what ages. School leaders are meeting with health officials to see if it's a viable option. Mine goes two days a week right now, and she didn't even want to do that because, like I said, her dad and uncle have health problems. Not all parents and districts are at that point. Fargo Public Schools continue to follow a set plan. Before students can come back, the number of new cases per 10,000 people needs to be between 10 and 19 in Cass County. I'm a little jealous. I hope that Fargo follows suit. For more information on what guides the learning approach for Fargo and West Fargo, you can visit our website. In Fargo, Courtney Lockie, Valley News Live. We asked you to weigh in online. 62.5% of people who responded say they would send their children back full time if given the chance. 37.5% say not yet.